So guys, I thought I'd go ahead and share with you uh, my EDC that I normally carry with me. Um, at least every day at work and things like that. It's nothing spectacular and I probably could improve on it for sure. But uh, it's just what I've been carrying for quite some time now. And I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you. And of course, I've got my wallet. And inside my wallet, I carry my Fresno lens. And it has a protective cover on it. I like that. Um, always carry a little bit of cash, not much. And ID. Of course, I have my phone. I have an OtterBox on the outside of it. Um, I, I just think that you should have something to protect your phone because, man, it doesn't take much to break one. I broke so many that these Otter boxes literally pay for themselves over and over and over. And of course, the phone's good for calling for emergencies. Um, of course, you've got apps on there for different little things that you can look up stuff, uh, whatnot. On my wrist here. This is something I don't carry 100% of the time. Probably closer to 50% of the time is the paracord bracelet. And about 95 to 99% of the time, I also always carry sunglasses or safety. These are safety glasses, sunglasses. Um, get these from work. Uh, nothing worse than getting something in your eye or like. Uh, Sometimes your eyes will uh, get weak or from, you know, staying up too late and stuff. They'll be uh, real sensitive to the light. So a good pair of sunglasses is nice to have. And the other thing that I carry is this little ring right here. Now, a lot of the stuff that I have on here I got from a website called Countycom. Can't remember exactly what it is. If I can figure out how to put the link down in the description box... I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I haven't actually even tried, to be honest with you. Um, I'll try to put that website link down there for you. Uh, pretty good website. I mean, there's a lot of little stuff on there. The thing with that website is the shipping is horrible. Oh, my gosh. Or at least I think it is for what you get. You know, you're getting a little tiny, small package, for say. I mean, look at all the little stuff I have on here. Um, so if you're going to order something, order a bunch of stuff. <laughs> don't just order two or three things and then go back and order two or three things again the shipping might end up being more than the actual product so I'll go ahead and show you the different things that I have on here uh, what I like is you can buy these little cables now this is the smaller cable that they sell up there but what's nice about the cable is you can just take and untwist it right here and pull it apart and everything on the ring or just one thing can come off so I'll go ahead and pull everything off of there so I can show you the different things I got on there now this I got actually at I think it was an Orschlins or something but it's just a little deal for your keychain and you may have seen in the other video I can't remember if I loaded it up yet or not but um, this is just like a little tiny blade on here it's not you know, it's not like real sharp, but it's sharp enough that it works great for scraping fire steel, which I have on that ring also, which you've probably seen in that other video. Um, as you can see, I've used it a lot and uh, definitely getting worn out, but I'm going to use her until she's gone. I keep thinking that it's going to break or snap right there at that weak point, but it hasn't done it yet. And in this thing here, you have a little fingernail file-ish type deal to clean underneath your fingernails and file your fingernails down. A little flathead screwdriver and a can opener deal. I don't really use those things too much, but I do use this blade a lot for striking the fire still. I'll go ahead and show you how that works. I mean, this thing is throw sparks. I just hit my camera. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's what those two things are for. Of course, that could be used as an improvised blade kind of just get you by if you needed it to and this is a p51 I think it is 
Well, they got a P38 and a P51. The P51 is just a little bit bigger than the P38, but I'm pretty sure this is the 51. And I've used this at work quite a few times because sometimes I bring canned goods uh, and a little crock pot. Uh, have me at lunch when I'm out of town. But that works great for a can opener. If you haven't ever seen one of these used and you want to see it done, uh, hit me up and I'll do a video if you want. But there's probably plenty of those out there on the web. This is something I don't use a ton, but it's a little key like Phillips. And I have also a flathead version of it. And these, oh man, if you don't got you a pair of these, I highly recommend these. This has got a little, this hooks on the keychain right up here. These are a little set of tweezers. And man, are these things awesome. The gripping power on them, I mean, it's really actually pretty good and they're real nice and pinpointy. And what's nice is that little tiny hole right there just clips right into that. Um, says the tweezers with pinpoint precision and it has a NSN number on it so this is just uh, military surplus I believe but definitely got that one from County Com and that's one I definitely suggest you get um, if you don't got it plus that cable I love that cable I mean those two things I just absolutely love use that those tweezers all the time splinters because I do a lot of woodworking I get splinters all the time also got this from County Com because they have a lot of government surplus stuff there is this little pry bar a little nail puller deal there um, I've used this to open up a few things and I like paint and things like that it works good for and honestly, it has never rusted, really. It's just got a kind of like a patina on it from rubbing against all the rest of the other metal. But you can probably see it says made in USA, US government. Got that from County Com. Got this whistle from County Com. Um, what I like about this whistle also is if you put this set in your pocket, this whistle has this huge little belt loop or hook thing here and of course you feed the cable through that hole and you can hook this in on the inside of your your pants there and it holds it to the top of your pants and I won't blow on the whistle because well I'm sure you don't need to hear it it works excellent I mean it really does you want to get somebody's attention in a room real fast blow one of these kids always <laughs> always get a good laugh whenever I just pull it out to get their attention Works good for that. Um, this is another thing, is tweezers. Now, on tweezers, they're not very expensive, but don't get the real, real cheap ones, guys. Um, if you get a pair of tweezers, try them out, because it definitely makes a difference which ones you get. Some of them don't work worth a hoot, and some of them work pretty good. Um, this is the Trim, Trim brand. Uh, works pretty good. I just put a little keychain deal on it because some of them don't even have that little hole right there for you to hook it on to something. So, can't remember where I got that little keychain thing from. But of course, this thing has the little nail clean out slash file deal on it. And fingernail clippers are great for all kinds of different things. Uh, you can even cut string with it, you know. And obviously, if you get little hangnails and stuff, you can clip them off. Work great for that. But always have a pair of fingernail clippers in there. Um, another thing I have is this little mini mag. This is a little mag light. Now, you have to be careful. Make sure you got that thing wrenched down pretty good because it will um, come undone, but you can probably see it, it still works. But just enough light to get me by, you know. Because really, when it's dark outside, unless you're in the deep part of the woods, most of the time you can get by with, uh, well, the moonlight. Um, if you let your eyes adjust to the dark, you know. But uh, there's that. 
And then I got this um, Gerber mini suspension. Now this thing won't do a whole lot, but I use it at work for various few, you know, things or whatnot. But this came as a two-part set. Um, it had this one here with the pair of pliers on it, which you can't, you know, like wrench down on it. I don't believe. I haven't tried that. Feels like you would probably. I'd probably just snap this thing in half personally. Um, but it does work good for little things, um, and as small as it gets down to, you know. I don't mind carrying this little thing in my pocket. Oops. You can kind of see how big it is. But the other one that came in the set of this was, had a pair of scissors on the end of it. So anyway, I'll put that away and show you the different stuff on the outside of this. If I can get it. I don't have fingernails like some people do. It has this little Phillips type driver on it. And little flat head with a like can opener type deal and a big nail file type thing on it and on the other side it has a little set of tweezers and those don't work too bad and it has like a little screwdriver type awl And, of course, it has a blade. Now, the blade sits in a slightly locked position, but it's definitely not a locker, per se. You can just flip it back, so got to be careful with that. Um, there's that. Um, another part of my EDC is this Kershaw leak. And it has this little slide lock on it right here, and I always keep it locked. I don't know, I'm just kind of paranoid that it's going to go off my... But it's an assisted open, and what I like about it is it does not have serrations in it. I just absolutely hate serrations. Now this was kind of expensive to me, it was 50 bucks, but you get what you pay for. It seems to hold an edge fairly decent. Um, you can see that the knife has a slight belly in it, not very much, but it has that sharp point in there so you can get you know a nice start into wood uh, you don't want to do any prying with it because the tip is weak enough that I have bent it a little bit but I definitely straightened it right back out uh, use this almost every day at work but uh, there's that I'll go ahead and take my belt off and show you my other EDC And of course, I conclude my belt as part of my EDC. Because you can use this for all kinds of stuff. Obviously, it's kind of like a cordage. Yeah. Then I also carry, probably about 90% of the time I carry this. I don't always carry it. Just depends on whether I'm wearing a pair of pants that I lost my belt loop on or not. But this is a Leatherman Super Tool 300. And the funny thing is, is when I first got this, this leather here was so close to here, I didn't even know this thing had a belt loop. I felt so stupid when I kept asking everybody, where's the belt loop on this thing? It doesn't have one. I was freaking out. But yeah, it has a belt loop. Definitely wore it out now. I mean, this thing has got some use. I need to hit it up a die or hit Justin up, see if he'll make me a, another sheath for it. But I keep a fire steel on the side of it here. Um, definitely recommend doing that. I just got a little hair um, stretchy deal on it to hold it in place. These little hair bungees. Works great. I don't buy expensive fire steels. This is just a Colgan's, Colons, or whatever you want to call it. And this thing got a little loose in here um, over time. I could take and I still can kind of do it now, but because it's loosened up even more again. But this snap comes off once in a while and this would slide out the side of, of the uh, deal. And what I did is Justin over at Greer Wolf gave me a great idea and I stuck bank line down in this front little pouch here. 
and it holds a fairly good hank of bank line in there as you can see it's pretty flat but what that did for me also not only do i have cordage with me at all times um, in there but it tightened it up inside this hole here so it didn't slip out the side real easy now it never fell out but i just noticed that i could slide that to the side and easily get it out but anyway there's the case to that And I'll go ahead and show you this. This video is getting long, isn't it? Sorry, guys. Anyway, got the little wire cutter strippers and the pliers like normal. Got a blade in here. What I like about it is there's no serrations on this blade. Um, got all kinds of stuff in here. There's two different flatheads and an awl. I like that all. That all works great for um, fire stills too. It has a little lanyard loop. I never use that. And it has a double sided file, which works pretty good. Serrated blade. I guess it's nice to have, you know. Uh, can opener. Works great. I used it once also. Uh, Phillips head another little flat head and I use this saw all the time you can probably see the dirt in it but anyway guys that's my EDC I don't want to carry this video any longer I know you guys hate watching these long ones and this one's already too long um, I'll do a video next on what the belts for um, on a separate one thanks guys